Hello everyone, I'm here again to discuss a topic in pre-calculus and I will be your teacher, Mr. Mark Anthony Villaroya. I will be discussing circle with center at 0, 0. So what is a circle? A circle is a round plane figure whose boundary, the circumference, consists of points equidistant from a fixed point called the center. So that means, let's say we have a point and then we form a line, straight line, and then if we move this line counterclockwise or clockwise, we will be able to form a set of points that is equidistant to our center and that is what we call circle. This line here from center up to one point of the circle is what we call the radius. Circumference is the total length or should we say the perimeter of the circle and the formula of circumference is equal to 2 pi r or diameter times pi. Diameter is simply twice the length of our radius. Let us now talk about circle with center at 0, 0. So let's say we have the two axes, the x-axis and the y-axis. And the point here at the intersection is our center at 0, 0 or point of origin. Let's say we have this circle. From the point of origin or at the center at 0, 0 up to one point of the circle, this will be our radius. This radius is constant or the same anywhere in the circle. So this one is also the radius and this one is also the radius. The standard equation for our circle with center at 0, 0 is x squared plus y squared equals r squared wherein our r is the radius of the circle. Let's the value of our radius is 4 or 4 units. For us to be able to get the standard equation of our circle, we simply plug in the value of our r in our standard equation. So this will be x squared plus y squared equals 4 squared. Simplifying the equation, it will give us x squared plus y squared equals 16. And this is the standard equation of our circle. Let us now solve a sample problem involving circle with center at 0, 0. Determine the standard equation of a circle with center at 0, 0 and intersects the point negative 5, 0. So let us illustrate or draw the circle. So this is our axis, x and y axis. We have the circle and then the point negative 5, 0. This is actually the point of intersection of the circle and the x-axis. The distance from the center up to the point negative 5, 0 will be the radius of our circle and that is equal to 5 units. From 0, 0 to negative 5, 0, we move 5 units to the left. And so, we simply plug in the value of 5 in our standard equation. We get x squared plus y squared equals 5 squared. And our final answer will be the standard equation of our circle with center at 0, 0 and intersects with the point negative 5, 0 is x squared plus y squared equals 25. Next problem we have, if the diameter of a circle with center at 0, 0 is 6, determine the two points where the circle intersects with the y-axis. So let us illustrate the circle, and then it says that the circle has a diameter of 6. And we are asked to determine the two points where the circle intersects with the y-axis. So let's 
So these are the two points where the circle intersects with the y-axis. The one above the point of origin and the one below the point of origin or the center. If the diameter of our circle is 6 units, therefore its radius is simply half of the diameter. So the radius is equal to 3. So starting from the center which is at which is at 0, 0, we move 3 units upward to get the coordinates of our point of intersection on top of the circle. So the point of uh, intersection now will be the one above the center is 0, 3 and the one below the center is 0, negative 3. We simply move 3 units upward and 3 units downward. And for our last problem, we have, if the general equation of the circle is x squared plus y squared minus 36 equals 0, what are the points of intersection of the circle to the x-axis? So we were given the general equation of our circle with x squared plus y squared minus 36 equals 0. We must first convert this general equation into its standard equation for us to be able to identify the value of our r squared. So simplifying the general equation or converting the general equation to standard equation, we simply transpose the constant negative 36 on the right side of our equation. That will give us the standard equation x squared plus y squared equals 36. Therefore, our r squared is equal to 36 and so our r is 6. We are asked to get the points of intersection of the circle to the x-axis. So these are the two points where our circle intersects with the x-axis. Since our r is equal to 6, or 6 units, that means we will move from the center to either of the point of inter points of intersection 6 units to the left and to the right. So, therefore, if our center is at 0, 0, we add 6 units to the x coordinate of the center or we subtract 6 units to the x coordinate of the center. So the points of intersection of the circle to the x axis are negative 6, 0 and 6, 0. So thank you very much for listening and watching. See you again next time.